What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. And I've got a tool haul that costs $53.21. What you see here costs $53.21. I'm going to start with just the $3.21 is what this was. It came to this, it was a like half off day at this estate sale and it was super, super uh, promising, but everything, I know there was a bunch of good stuff there. Everything had been, all the good stuff had been, has been had just been picked over by the time I got there. But because of that, they were letting stuff go for like nothing. They calculated this up and it was $3.21. I got a bunch of deep um, quarter inch Craftsman USA V series and a couple G series. Uh, some of them metric, so that's good. Um, I haven't even showed you guys this. This is, uh, I got some of these Hanson trays and I'm just gonna fill them up with, you know, vintage uh, USA made sockets. So like there's my, quarter inch and once those are full um i'll have you know some nice sets and i've got i've got the three eighths the quarters and the halves are down in another drawer so i thought that was cool and i like deep metric quarter inch so that's you know that's stuff you don't find every day so i was glad to i was glad to get some of that and it was basically like super super cheap you know um, and then I did find this SK 11 sixteenths wrench. Um, I've been finding a lot of standard SK, uh, like raised panel wrenches. I'm starting to build a standard, uh, set. So once I have a set, I might sell it on eBay. I don't know. Um, but these are like, they're like a step up from the craftsman wrenches from, you know, the USA made raised panel wrenches. They're really good. Um, but I don't know, that's just a good wrench. And then this is a level I found, a super dirty, but it says Milwaukee, Wisconsin on it. Um, I just can't make out anything else. It's so dirty, but I'm gonna clean it up. The bubbles still work. It's a cool little level. Might be a good one just to have in the shop. Cool little level to have in the shop. Now here, I paid 50 bucks for this. This is a Kennedy toolbox, and I don't know, I don't know guys, I don't know if I really got a good deal or not. We're going to go through this thing, and I want y'all to let me know if I really did good or not. Um, I liked the toolbox, and that was kind of the main thing uh, at this sale. The I opened it up, the person that was selling it, like, he was driving kind of a hard bargain. Um, he hadn't been through all of it, so he wanted to look at it and see, you know. But I started looking through this box, and before I even got close to looking at everything, um, I decided I was gonna get it. And I actually tried to do a video about this but like a couple days ago, and I had just got it home, and I was going through all of it, and just finding stuff and finding stuff, and I was talking and talking and talking because there's so much cool stuff in here that it, it just took, the video ended up being so long, I decided I'd just redo it. So we're going to go through this damn thing. Um, first, I got all the junk out of there and um, I put a lot of it in here. This was like just a bunch of good Allen keys, um, a little pouch of those, all, like, all USA made ones. And a bunch of good drill bits. Like there was a bunch of shitty junk drill bits too, but a bunch of good ones. Um, you know, made in USA drill bits. And a couple of those little pocket screwdrivers were in there. So I didn't include that in there, but I took it out. But it, it, I got a lot of good drill bits out of it, so that's cool. And this is this Kennedy toolbox. The the thing that I loved so much about it was. The latches worked. It's a little bit rusty, but I mean, there's a lot of tools in here and it's solid, it works. So I just thought it was a really cool vintage old toolbox. And it does this deal here. 
and it's it it works pretty good. So you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up and and lube everything up, and I think it'll work great. So I'm gonna start with uh, some of the smaller stuff up here, like. Not all of it's great. Like here's a there's a lot of diamond tools in here. There's a diamond Duluth, um, you know, a little pair of slip joints. I like these kind of slip joints. These ones are not in great shape, but you know. And then here's a couple pairs of pliers that I was super. These three items are like three of the first things I found in here, and I was just like, it got me really wanting this stuff. So. Here is a diamond, dime alloy, a little six inch pair of channel locks. It's got the rivet here, it's not a screw, it's an actual kind of rivet. Um, this is just, if you could feel this and use this in your hands, you would understand what I'm saying. It's just a really high quality little pair of channel locks. Uh, really good, and I the teeth are in pretty good shape. I'm gonna clean it up and use these. And I love to use a six inch little pair of channel locks with a six inch little adjustable wrench. And this is a Bonnie made in USA. This thing feels so smooth and so little play. Uh, this is a really good one. These are gonna be a great tandem. And there's, uh, there's some good adjustable wrenches in this kit, but this Bonnie one feels the best. This thing feels awesome. So great little pliers and a little wrench. And then these cutters are still really, really sharp. And uh, these are dime alloy, made in the USA. Um, and they feel so good. They just, the, the, the feel of them, even though they don't, they just have metal grips, like they don't have, uh, you know, any kind of handle, plastic handle or anything. They just feel really good and they cut good. I was cutting some wire with them. Uh, so these will kind of fit in with, some of my old school pliers. Um, so that was great. And then uh, here's a little rigid pipe wrench, a little like six inch pipe wrench. I don't know what you would need this small of a pipe wrench for. I've never used one, but it's nice to have in the collection and it, it very well may come in handy someday. Um, here were a couple cool little rulers. So these are like machinist rulers. This is a Starrett. Um, made in Massachusetts. It's a little six inch ruler. Nice to have in the shop. And um, people love Starrett stuff. I actually just sold on eBay the Starrett Square that I found in another tool haul. I sold it for $65. So that paid for all this. Um, and I try to sell some stuff every once in a while that I find and it pretty much pays for this whole hobby. Like, So this was all basically free if you think about it that way. Um, but this is a good little ruler. And then here is a cool little uh, kind of caliper uh, gauge type thing. This is a Union Tool Company, Orange, Massachusetts, made in the USA. And uh, it's cool. It, like you can just find the size of something real quick uh, with this little slide gauge. This is neat. I, I, it's just a really neat item. I've never really seen anything quite like it. So that's, those are just cool things to have sitting around in the shop, you know. And then there was a couple pipe cutters in here. Uh, these are, what do they, they say? Empi Imperial, Imperial pipe cutters. Uh, this small one's kind of cool. It doesn't have the wheels on it, so I don't know. It's kind of old timey, I guess, maybe. These are both pretty old, I think. Uh, this one has the wheels. Pretty nice pipe cutters. I don't know if they're as good as some of my other ones, but you know, good to have around. Um, there was a lot of screwdrivers in here. I'm going to start with these, uh, these cool ones. Uh, these are screw holding screwdrivers. And, uh, the way this one works, this is a stubby, uh, Phillips screw holding, uh, screwdriver. So you put that Phillips on there and that holds it on there and you can use it. Now, I wish it wasn't stubby. I wish it was longer, because when I need something like this, it's usually like, you know, I can't I can't hold it myself, but it still will come in handy someday, probably, for me to just, when I really have to get up in somewhere where I can't hold the screw. Uh, and it's just a cool, 
a cool screwdriver. It's a hold easy spring action Phillips number two. Um, it still works good. I can clean it up and it'll work. And then the other one is a flathead and this is a vaco and it's in a little bit of rough shape but i can i think i can clean it up and make it okay and uh let me see there's, there's a flathead that's screw in here so this one it starts out skinny like this in two pieces and as you raise this up it squeezes them together and makes it fat and grabs on so you put your your flathead on there and then you squeeze it up you put that up and it holds it. So these are just cool. Like they're just cool tools, um, kind of old school technology, you know? Uh, but I can clean them up and I think they'll come in handy someday. And then there's some other little stuff that'll come in handy. Like, uh, this is a new sketchy voltage tester. Uh, I like these, this one works. And I actually like the light bulb on this one better than my other sketchy voltage tester. So, uh, I'm going to use this. Just tells you if it's hot, they're good. And then a good tire gauge. This one is a nice heavy duty made in USA tire gauge. Um, it still works, I, I tested it out. This is a little Bonnie uh, 7 16 by 3 8 like offset double box end. I found a snap on one that was I think half inch by 9 16 that was kind of like this. So I'm adding to that set, uh, which is cool, you know. And then that, he had a three quarter by a seven eighths one. This is just a continental American, but it's made in Japan. This, I think this was a cheapie from back in the day, you know? Uh, and then I won't go crazy. I won't go crazy talking about these nut drivers, but these are all Bonnie. He had a lot of Bonnie stuff. Um, Bonnie made in USA, uh, hollow shaft nut drivers. They look very similar to my Exolite USA ones. And I believe they were probably made in the same place um, back in the day because they're just so similar. But I love having these around and I just, I don't, I, I'll throw them somewhere and use them in kits because I just love them. And they, there's a few of them in here, all different sizes, quarter inch, 11 30 seconds, Quarter inch, another quarter inch, three eighths. So, you know, seven sixteenths. Can't have enough nut drivers. And then the screwdrivers were good. Here's another kind of junky little Bonnie flathead screwdriver. Um, this little Phillips number one is kind of jacked up, but it's got these USA forged in there, chrome vanadium Phillips on the shaft which is kind of cool i wish that that phillips was in better shape this phillips number three uh it just has a little rust i can clean off but it's got that and i just think that's really good you don't see that very often and this will be the best number three i have um so i'm going to keep this and use it and then i don't need any more flatheads as y'all know if you've seen my flathead video but this is just a good one not a not a thing in the wrong world with this not a thing in the world wrong with this, excuse me. Bonnie, you know. Um, and there's a couple more, like, long cabinet tip ones, Bonnie. I mean, those really come in handy, big time. Uh, and then there's, here's an old M. Klein and Sons 5 16 nut driver. Uh, you know. So, I don't need that stuff, but it's good stuff and I can throw it in different spots. This is a 12 inch pipe wrench, Bonnie, uh, made in USA. I think this might be an old rigid that Bonnie put their name on, like, kind of like those nut drivers, because it just, it just seems like a rigid one, but it's good. And some of this stuff, a lot of this stuff down here is where it's really pretty nice stuff. So check this out. Here is a Mac, uh, one inch wrench and this is a sweet wrench look how long that is that is a beast of a one inch wrench and uh that's just a real good one i was when i pulled that one out of that box when i was looking around i was like oh yeah i'll take that i mean that's a beast of a, of a wrench and then there was a couple other uh, adjustable wrenches here's a 12 inch bonnie and this thing feels great too i mean super good once i get these cleaned up 
this is a really good 12 inch one and uh it'll go nicely with my other ones and then this one is an eight inch it says better grip um on that side and then it says jp danielson jamestown new york and that was being made in the same factory i believe as the crescent crestal oil ones from back in the day so this is making me a good set i'll clean this one up too and then i'll have like 12 i've got this 10 inch crestal oil i cleaned up so that'll make it 12 10 8 and then six of like really good quality USA made adjustable wrenches. That's just, that's, I just love that. So, you know, there were some things in here that I was like, hell yeah, let me get those. So these two adjustable wrenches, awesome, awesome, awesome finds. And then here is a uh, Pexto made in USA. Just a good pair of snips. They're still pretty sharp. Um, I use these for cutting like vinyl siding and stuff sometimes. So this is a good pair to have, you know. They're still pretty good. Here's another diamond, dime alloy, uh, 10 inch pair of channel locks. They're a little crusty. I don't know, I might fix them, I might clean them up and see. Maybe this will go to like an eBay sale. I don't, I've got a lot of channel locks, but these ones are pretty good. I like these green handles. And then here was a really good find, I thought. This is another diamond. I think these are basically brand new. They're the straight cut uh, snips. I don't think this guy, I don't think these were used at all. These are so sharp still. I was cutting some metal with them, just playing with them, and they work like a dream. And they're so, you can just tell the quality on these is really, really good. Uh, once I clean these up, these things are going to work awesome. They're the, they will be the best snips that I have, like 10 snips. They're awesome. And then here's just a little... A little hacksaw, you know, nothing crazy. It says made in USA on it, that's it, it doesn't have a brand. Um, and then here's another little Bonnie T handle socket. Um, I don't really even know what that's for. And then some spin tight, that's what they say on them somewhere. Wood handled nut drivers, you know, I'm not, I'm not crazy about them, but. Uh, this is a really nice looking old chisel. It's a Stanley made in USA old chisel. I'll sharpen this up and use it. This is a good, good chisel. It was probably a really, really nice chisel back in the day. They, Stanley made really good woodworking tools back in the day. Um, and then there's a full set of wood handle screwdrivers, but these are all made in Taiwan. Uh, the tips and stuff, are, it's like, they're like brand new, um, really in good shape, but they're, they're made in Taiwan. I'm not a big wood handle screwdriver guy. If they were Mac ones, I'd keep them, but I don't know. I might sell them on eBay or something, get a couple dollars for them maybe. Some people like wooden handled screwdrivers and collect them. I don't really care too much about them. Um, another Bonnie flathead. Good one. And then here's the last thing, uh, last but certainly not least, is these slip joint pliers. These are Bonnie B28 uh, USA made. And these are like 10 inch slip joints. And these are really nice. I've been liking getting these different kinds of slip joints lately. And these have really, really good jaws on them. Um, they're really still in great shape. I like these little cross uh, on the screws. They're good. Uh, this has like the double kind of cutters there. This is a really good pair of, of slip joints. I can't wait to clean these up and use them. Got real nice kind of knurling design on the handle. So that's it. That's $50 worth of stuff. It was really the toolbox that interested me the most. And uh, I was pleased to do that. I just think it's really cool. But I also got all that stuff in it. Um, so let me know if you think I got a good deal for 50 bucks. I think I should have offered him, I, I offered him 40 and he came back with 50 and I just agreed. I didn't want to make it too difficult.
Uh, but I wish that I would have offered him 30 because I bet you he would have came back with 40 and I could have gotten all this for 40. But uh, I sold that square and paid for all this anyway, so it's kind of like it was free. But y'all let me know what you think. Y'all think that this was worth 50 bucks? Um, I think it's a really cool toolbox and I think some of this stuff is some really cool old, old stuff. I probably will sell some of it, but man, I'm, I was happy with this haul. So y'all let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.